we're going to show the relationship between pressure and volume. We're going to use these balloons here and show that when we increase the pressure, the volume will decrease. And when we decrease the pressure, the volume will uh, increase. We're going to launch uh, like a weather balloon. It's, we're going to uh, launch it up to above 30 kilometers, so where the air pressure is almost zero. Now because of that then, the balloon will expand as it's rising up to the atmosphere and reach a point where it can expand no further. The balloon, launching a balloon is easy, but it's getting it up to the right altitude is the problem. And the problem here is that as you, as a balloon rises up through the atmosphere, up through to over 30 kilometers, it's facing uh, decreasing temperatures. Temperatures can drop to the lows or minus 50 degrees Celsius. And also we're dealing with wind as well. We're dealing with uh, wind currents. And in Ireland we've rain and uh, as you get above the clouds. Other challenges then is we want to be able to track this balloon and we want to be able to communicate with it. So tracking is important then where we can see how far it travels where does it land and then we want to be able to retrieve it afterwards. This payload will be about one kilo and it's going to contain a radio tracking device. We're going to have a camera and we're also going to have a display to show messages. Now we're using the camera we will take photographs as the balloon is rising up and also when it reaches the upper level of the, of the atmosphere. Um, the tracking device then is going to allow us to see where the balloon uh, travels and how fast it rises and ultimately where does it land. We're using uh, an amateur radio transmitter which transmits little packets every 30 seconds or so and each of these little messages contains the current location of the, and altitude of the balloon. And they're very very short messages and we can then decode them on the ground and plot this position and uh, flight route uh, using map. Anybody will be able to see where a balloon goes and we will display this location on a map on talktoeu.ie. The amount of payload that a balloon can carry depends on how big the balloon is. So for our balloon we can carry uh, just over one kilo of payload, which is quite a lot for a balloon. We're going to show that the relation we're going to demonstrate the relationship between pressure and volume. So what it means is that as our balloon rises, the balloon will expand because of the decreased pressure outside and will reach a point where it can expand no further and just burst. In the 17th century, uh, a scientist born in Ireland called Robert Boyle discovered the relationship between pressure and volume. 